Hello, this is Fanboy, your self-reliance guy, and today I'm going to show you how to operate a laptop with a solar panel in a very energy-efficient way. Let's go and see. Here's my equipment. This is a 150-watt solar panel. This is kind of a trolley for my baggage and a used car battery. Let's go to the back of the solar panel and see how connections are made. Oh, that's my laptop. Okay, we have the back. We see here there is a charge controller which makes sure we don't overload the battery and also we don't this discharge the battery through the solar panel at night you see here we got an output we don't use central connectors are used to connect to the battery uh, plus to the left minus to the right and uh, the mm, connectors uh, uh, for the for the solar panel so let's make sure you match polarity here on the battery. Positive. I put the stickers because I can read very well. I can see very well this sign at night. And negative. And also positive from the solar panel goes here to the first. Oh, connection hole. Then on the battery, you see through a switch placed on the positive, but you can also play, play place on the negative uh, wire. We go to this converter. Again, uh, we got to respect polarity here. If you don't respect polarity, you can burn out everything. Let's see what's this. You can read here it is a boost back boost converter. It means it will either reduce or bump up tension without passing through alternate current uh, directly from uh, direct current to direct current. In this case uh, I'm uh, bumping up tension from about 12 to 19.6 volts uh, which is uh, the amount required by my laptop. Other kind of laptops uh, may require a slightly different voltage so you better a read on uh, your power supply and you see also how much power I'm consuming now my computer is uh, not doing anything it's only switched on uh, but it may go higher if you use it uh, while doing some uh, some processing with this knob here, you regulate tension. I made voltage just a bit higher because my laptop requires only mm, it requires exactly uh, 19.5 volts. I made it uh, uh, one ten on, or, of, a, of a volt higher in order to compensate for losses uh, due to the. Um, um, connectors and cables uh, and try to fix everything uh, to a panel in this case I use the cardboard uh, panel uh, in order to have a good mechanical uh, resistance the other circuit which I got here uh, it, it is switched off uh, I use uh, for uh, operate uh, my 
musical keyboard, it has this kind of, a, of jack, it's just a voltage uh, stabilizer. It makes sure uh, the keyboard is operated uh, with exactly 12 volts, because the battery can be a bit more. If a battery is less, uh, a car battery is less than 12 volts, it means uh, it is either uh, broken or needs uh, to be uh, recharged, uh, so you better don't use it. Let's go and see if my laptop is properly working. Yep. It is. You see, I'm using Linux. So that's all. In order not to cut your computer's power supply cable, you better buy a new one. Be sure to match the exact type of connector, because every laptop brand has a different connector. There is no, not a unique standard, unfortunately. The solar panel costed me something like 120 euros here in Italy uh, a few months ago. They are probably cheap, cheaper now, but it's a good one. Uh, about the other circuits, uh, they don't cost very much. Uh, uh, the buck boost converter, uh, I think, 10, 10, 11, 12 euros, uh, and the other one uh, uh, just a few euros. And the car battery was given as a gift since uh, it is a bit depleted, uh, can't start the engine uh, anymore, but still good to operate my. Uh, PC and light uh, a bulb at night. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.